Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate, when they ate it, like we were evolved to do. I have a very special video for you guys today. I was back home in Norway just a few weeks ago and I'm going to show you some of the things that I forage when there are some wild plants that are very much in season right now. So everybody, it's true, Scandinavia and cold, snowy places in general throughout history have been very very hard to survive in just because the fact that there is no food growing around for most of the year so this makes it very hard to survive the winter and our ancestors would have struggled with that but in Norway here from the few months from about June until September October there is so much wild edible things growing around it is really amazing and it's not like that anywhere else in Europe in my opinion so I'm showing you guys where I'm foraging here and the truth is they're just regular old neighborhoods I don't have to go miles and miles into the forest or up into the mountains away from civilization some of these things are just sitting there in people's backyards for the taking and you're gonna see how easy it is to find food in these months and of course when you forage things wild you know it is all in top season so all the nutrition and the benefits are going to be there and as always don't go foraging anywhere unless you have an expert with you these areas I grew up in my whole life I've been foraging in these areas so I know what all these plants and berries are so I know what to do but you guys should definitely seek the help of an expert if you're going to be doing any foraging yourself so first let's talk about my favorite fruits cherries 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 you know this is my favorite if you've been watching my videos for a couple months in most places in the world cherries are in season in the early summer and even spring in some places but in Norway right now August time is top cherry season all kinds you see these absolutely everywhere in neighborhoods in the forest all different types of cherries red cherries darker cherries they are so good they're smaller than the ones you will find in the store but way more nutrient dense and they are just so delicious I was picking these for many hours actually Another one that is some of the most common that you will find in most Norwegian towns is apples. A lot of houses in their backyards, they have apple trees. Now these are not quite in season right now. Um, in another month or two they might be, but they're still edible now, uh, just a little bit sour. Next we have some of the berries. Now these were in season in the spring and early summer but you can still find some around that are good to eat. Here are some raspberries which you will still find a lot of. They're getting a bit dry and rotten by now but they're still good sometimes. And then we have some really good ones called cloudberries here and most of them are still good even at this uh, late in the season. We also have something called rips, which are pretty common, and these uh, actually last pretty late into the summer. I think the English translation for these is uh, lingonberries. Then we have something called nipe, which are rose hips. Uh, now these aren't in season yet, it would be another few weeks before they are in top season, but they're definitely edible now. They're bitter, they don't taste nice when you eat them straight off the bush like this, but they're very very good in jams and teas and toppings and things like that, and some of the most healthy things you can possibly eat. Also, one thing that you can come across pretty much anywhere in the world is dandelions. These are totally edible and incredibly healthy actually. They don't taste very nice and I don't recommend eating them straight off the ground unless you know what they are. Uh, but they are very good in teas and you can make their juices into uh, different uh, medicinal remedies. Then over here we have D's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> these are some acorns. These are not really edible unless you prepare them the right way, but they are coming into season now in the next few weeks, along with plenty of other nuts that you can find in the wild. Another one here that you might not have heard of before is something called uh, strandkorn, which is basically beach cabbage or something like that. Not super appetizing looking, but it actually is edible. It's cabbage, it's a late in the season for this now, uh, so it's dry and not very good, but definitely something you can find in a lot of uh, beach uh, coastal areas. And guys, don't forget, when you're hungry, you can always steal from the farmers. <laughs> no, don't do that because it's not illegal. I'm just saying our ancestors could have done this 
50 years ago, thousands of years ago, it doesn't matter when, they could always be like Mary and Pippin and steal some crops for some farmers. So here we have some potatoes, we have fields and fields of onions, perfect season, it smells so nice just being right next to there. And don't forget the grains, you can eat these things uh, just straight off the uh, plant right there too. So plenty and plenty of things to eat uh, from the farms if you want to. So that's about it guys, hope you enjoyed. These are just a few of the things that I found in the couple days that I was back home in Norway, but there is lots and lots more, and even more that is gonna be coming into season a little bit later on in the year, especially the mushrooms. So many good mushrooms that you can find all over the forests of Norway. But that's about it for now. I wish I lived back home year round so I can make these videos and show you guys the full seasonal foraging diet that you can do in Norway but it's just not possible for most of us most of us have to live in cities these days but don't worry I'm working on it lots of big things coming up for the seasonal diet and also big homesteading news coming up so follow the channel we will have our community and getting back to nature very soon thank you for watching